Today on Special Edition TV, how traditional brick and mortar buildings are becoming intelligent buildings. Today's modern buildings are being constructed with smart technology that allows systems like elevators, lighting, alarms, HVAC, and even bathrooms to be controlled remotely and efficiently. All of these systems today are digitally based. They're all what we call smart systems. Steve Fay is the president of Tritium, a company that is helping these smart systems to communicate with each other. There's a fundamental issue in that they don't uh, work together and they talk in different languages or we call, sometimes refer to that as protocols. The, the problem that Tritium set out to solve uh, many years ago was to uh, create a software platform that could communicate with all these diverse systems and bring them all together and allow, not only bring them together, but allow users to interact with these systems from a browser. So take advantage of the internet. What are the benefits of that? Well, the benefits are, are, are first and foremost about uh, operational savings, because now you're able to operate your building remotely, and you, can, and you can understand what's going on and how one system affects another system. And of course, the big thing that we're all concerned about today is reducing energy costs. And Tritium has been very uh, instrumental in helping building owners around the globe re dramatically reduce their energy costs. So ultimately, delivering on this promise of the intelligent building. The solution that Tritium designed is a plug-and-play system called Niagara. Let's take an example of, of Niagara in a building and how it really transforms uh, the way you can operate that building today. So in the case of a building where Niagara is connected to the lighting system and the security system and of course the HVAC, you as a, as a tenant when you come in that building now, we're, we're able to know who you are, where you're going, light your pathway, particularly for example if it's a weekend and you're coming in after hours, uh, we're able to uh, bring the elevator to you, take you to your sp specified floor when you get off that floor and, and then light your way to your office and of course bring on your air conditioning for the time that you're there. This is truly making the, the building work for both you as a tenant and for the owner who, who runs that and operates that facility. How exactly do you deploy a Niagara system in a building? Well, as software, it's designed to operate either on a dedicated uh, hardware device what we would call an embedded computer, or it can go on a, a general purpose computer or server. And typically there's one or several instances of Niagara that get installed per building. From there you connect that computer to, through standard cabling to, for example, the lighting control system, the, the HVAC control system, the elevators, and so on. And, and this is how you wire up the system. So, Niagara then, from a software standpoint, usually a systems integrator comes in and configures the Niagara software to actually first communicate to each of these devices, and then they deploy applications, they sometimes create even custom applications for that project that does the sorts of, of, uh, of integrations and, and applications that you would want to reduce your energy and manage your, your operations for that facility. The learning curve for Niagara is pretty fast. The final output of this configuration are web pages. And all of us know how to navigate web pages. We do it virtually every day of our life. So for the end user, the, even the configuration of the system is not something they have to be concerned with. The final system is essentially a website that they can navigate to run their building. Because you can operate the building from a browser, needless to say, that browser can be anywhere. So whether it's your home at night, or it's on the road if you're traveling away from the office, or truly it could be anywhere around the globe, you can reach back to your building from wherever you are and, and interact with it. Automatically, the system is smart enough when there are problems to, to alert you. And that, those alerts or alarms can come right to your cell phone. And from your cell phone, you can determine right there if it's a real problem, and you can acknowledge that alarm and, and delay action on it to a later date. But in any event, the Niagara system is designed to interact with any type of internet device available on the market today. We are a big proponent, and uh, we are advancing the technology of Niagara to fully embrace mobile technology. Scalability is another factor that makes Niagara a versatile system. What types of buildings is Niagara being used in today? Virtually any type of building, from, from large homes to uh, commercial office buildings, to universities and schools and hospitals and industrial factories. 
the focus true has been prim primarily on uh, in the commercial space and Niagara systems are deployed uh, in over 45 countries around the globe we have over 250,000 instances of our software in operation today the buildings can be small 10,000 square feet to uh, massive complexes with over millions of square feet but I think in addition to that it's not just the size of the building, it's the ability of Niagara to I interface with hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of buildings in a coordinated fashion. So scalability is a big feature and in, in performance aspect of the Niagara framework and one of the reasons companies uh, both large and small have been eager to adopt our technology. The building world is constantly changing and the Niagara framework is really designed as a platform to embrace that change. Tritium as a company prides itself in being a technology leader and that means of course staying right at the edge of where technology is going. For Special Edition TV, I'm Richard Allen reporting. Find Tritium at 804-747-4771 or on the web at tritium.com. Find Special Edition TV at specialeditiontv.com.